Hello everyone, I am Oliver Garo, Marketing Manager for Renaissance RDKs and Renaissance Ecosystem. In previous video segments, we've seen how to configure and how to demo the new Renaissance Demonstration Kit, the RL78G14 RDK, using its powerful Wi-Fi interface. In particular, we've demonstrated how to set up the Wi-Fi provisioning, which is required step to, re to connect this RDK to the internet. By now, the RDK is ready to go to the cloud and we will connect to our portal provider called Exosite. Here's the address for Exosite. This is more or less the same process as to connect to Exosite via an internet router, except we'll do that today through a Wi-Fi access point. To get started, make sure the deep switch number two is in the on position. Connect the USB cable to a laptop or to any other power source to provide power to the board. Once the board is powered up, hit the reset switch while maintaining the switch number one depressed. Then release the reset switch to boot up the Exosite client application. This sequence will set the RDK in a Wi-Fi client mode and connect directly to the Exosite server. So I'm going to reset the board in uh, exercise client mode. I'm going to press number one, reset, release, reset. And now you're going to see on the screen the cloud demo, the MAC address, and the connecting, and then connected to the um, cloud. So now the board is connected to the kit. And next, you're going to launch your favorite web browser on your PC, on your Mac, or your smartphone and you type the URL of the Exosite portal. So I have this already there. This is renaissance.exosite.com and basically I'm going to sign up with my account. Oliver and my password. So if you don't have an account already, you can create one. It's very easy and it's definitely is free. I'm clicking this link, you can create a new account. So I'm logging in. So now you can see my current dashboard. Uh, yours may look different uh, because already I have a couple of widgets, but basically uh, the main screen here on the left is called Getting Started and you also, also have a couple of uh, video tutorial. Uh, so now you basically you are ready to define a new cloud device for your dashboard. So look at the window called um, Connect uh, Getting Started and you have a window called Connect Your RDK. You're going to click here to add a new device. So you have a pull down menu here. You're going to select a couple of devices uh, from a couple of devices. We have a couple of 32-bit uh, boards, a couple of RL uh, board. Select the last one, which is YRDK RL78 G14 with Gainspan Wi-Fi. So now you're going to be able to uh, enable this profile. You click on continue. And the next thing you have to do is basically provide a unique identifier to your board so it's becoming a unique entity on the cloud. The way we do that is by setting up a unique MAC address. So usually they start with 00066E1C and this is followed uh, with four digits. And the four digits for my MAC address are, you can read it, on the uh, Gainspan module. You can also read it on the top of the LCD on the second line. Uh, my digit is A82F. So my address now is complete. And the next field you want to enter is basically a significant name for your device uh, or a specific identifier. In my case, I'm going to call it RL78G14. RDK, and I'm going to put kitchen here. You'll see that in a few minutes. Why? So basically what I want to do here is provide a clue that I'm interested in controlling appliances in the kitchen. And that's going to be just basic light and uh, thermostat or temperature. But I can, you know, relate to that devices as being in a given location here in the kitchen. I'm going to click on continue. So the next screen is interesting because it's an acknowledgement from the portal that you were able to successfully enable this kit uh, on the portal. So you see the kit is assigned a unique uh, 
CLK key identifier. So basically, that means the board was not reserved or assigned to another account. It's yours, it's enabled, and it's good to go on the, on the web. So when you're done with uh, that and you have this confirmation uh, message, you can click on Quit. So you can see uh, your new RDK, the one we call Kitchen, has been added to the device list. And you can see I had a previous um, RX-63 and uh, kit in there, which is not active. Uh, basically, um, the red status means it's not connected to the cloud. The green status is, tra is transferring information to the cloud. So now let's click on this new device we created. The next page is called the device information page and will basically bring up all the resources and the data uh, that are available for this platform. So this window here provides a data list and I can see, I can control or read four parameters in this current RDK. You can add up obviously uh, additional list, list of parameters of data, you can build your own data. So basically this is what we're gonna be able to do with that virtual uh, RDK in your kitchen. We'll be able to control the LEDs and read the temperature of this kit. Let's close this window, and now we're going to go back at the top level of your dashboard by clicking Home. Okay, so how do we control the board now from the dashboard? The easiest way to do that is to add up a widget. So on the upper right corner of the screen, click on Add Widget. And one of the things you want to do uh, here is control the LED. LEDs are this LED ring right there. So I'm going to first define the type of widget and uh, on-off switch is a perfect uh, uh, type of widget. And I'm going to give a, a, a name to that widget. And for example, I'm going to call it uh, kitchen lights. Click on continue. So once you created the widget on the screen, you will need to associate it with a data source. So um, click on data source, you have a pull down menu coming up. You can see the various devices you attach to the cloud. And the one we want to talk to is the kitchen one. And this one was to control the LED. Uh, you don't need to really uh, change anything to a refresh rate here. Click submit. And now you have successfully created a widget to your dashboard. You can close and click on quit here. So now you have a new component on your dashboard, which is this LED control, and we call that uh, kitchen lights. So now by default, um, it, comes at, uh, it comes up as an on status. So the LED are on, and it's also on on your dashboard. Click anywhere on this um, control box. It's a toggle, and now you can see I just click off, and the LED is going off. So I'm going to click on this uh, toggle again. Three, two, one. It's on, on my screen. And it's coming up, uh, controlled by the portal. There's a few seconds delay, obviously, going through the exercise portal. So now we've seen to, how to control uh, uh, one resources in your RDK, which is the LEDs. I propose to add up another uh, widget to control or to read the temperature. So click on add a second widget here. Uh, the type of widget is going to be a uh, gouge. And I'm going to simply call this one uh, kitchen temperature. Click continue. And here I'm going to try to define a, a dial with the current room temperature. And obviously this one currently reports in Celsius. So let's me, uh, let me define the, the minimum level. I would say 15 degrees. Maximum uh, level for the temperature, 30 degrees. Maybe it starts to be chilly at 18. So basically I'm defining the, the range of this dial. And uh, the next thing I want to do is associate the data source to that widget. And uh, we said that we're going to be temperature. So the temperature of the kitchen RDK, the refresh, probably every five seconds is enough. And I'm going to submit to really create that widget. So now you get this nice message, widget uh, successfully created. You click on quit. And now right away in your dashboard, you will see um, basically that 
we have a, a temperature in the room of 28 degrees. Uh, this is a pretty hot studio, obviously, um, but that's giving you uh, the room temperature here. So if I were to um, change this, um, this value, I'm going to just put my finger on this sensor, and we're going to try to see uh, if this increases a little bit the dial. The dial went up from 28 to 29 uh, Celsius. Uh, again, it's something that captures the, the board temperature. So that's uh, basically, in a nutshell, how we add up widget to both control the board or get feedback. I could have set up the potentiometer or the timers or the ping. Uh, it's a very interesting way to controlling uh, your board remotely through the clouds. And obviously you can dial into that board uh, anywhere, for, uh, anywhere you can be on the internet or any, any geographical area. So that's the power of the cloud here. So congratulations for reaching this step in this evaluation of the Renesas and Exosite portal capabilities using the RL78G14 RDK. So this was an overview of the kit's cloud capabilities out of the box. Please check out our other YouTube videos to discover how Wi-Fi application or configuration uh, of this kit can be done, such as operating as a limited access point or running as a web server or about provisioning or programming over the air. You are also invited to follow Exosite extended training videos to learn about the whole range of capabilities of their portal. For more information on Renesas RDKs, please go to this uh, address. And thank you for your attention. <laughs>